Good day and welcome back to another Terraria Let's Build. This video is going to be the final installment in my series of Japanese Let's Builds. They've all pretty much been just different types of Japanese buildings and all of them have also had some functionality for housing NPCs as you can see over there. Now this one that I'm going to be doing today is a little bit different in that it's mostly aesthetic and in terms of functionality as I'll be showing you how to build it, I don't think it actually does count as a house for NPCs. However, you can modify it very easily to add in doors and chairs and tables so that your NPCs can live in it. Now, before I get into the build itself, I'm going to do just a little bit of a sort of an update on the channel and what's going to be going on in the future with the channel and my life. Um, Obviously this is mostly for those of you who are return viewers and have more of an active interest in the channel. If you're not interested in that, feel free to skip ahead. I'll put a timestamp in the description so you can easily click on it and skip this whole part if you're not interested. However, if you are interested, feel free to watch. Alright, so thank you very much for staying to watch if you are watching this part now. Uh, this is going to be me talking about what's going to be happening with the future of my channel um, and kind of pertains to this video. So. Bad news, unfortunately. This isn't going to be a very happy segment. Uh, this might be my last video for a long time. I might have to stop making YouTube videos. Basically, what's going on in my life is that um, very soon I'm going to be forced to resign from my job. I, I say forced. It's not like my boss is forcing me. He doesn't even know about it yet. Um, it's just that the way things are going at work, um, I'm not going to be able to continue working there as much as I'd love to. Uh, I say love to. I wouldn't say I am enamored with my job, however it's a good job, I've been there for four years and I don't want to quit but unfortunately you can't always do what you want to do in life. Coffee break. So basically how this affects you guys is that um, because I'm having to quit my job, I don't have a whole whack of savings. I've got enough money to pay rent for like until January at most really. Um, and honestly, I'm not so sure what I'm going to be doing with my life, like how I'm going to make money and live, really. Um, obviously, uh, my dream, so when I first started this YouTube channel many years ago, um, I, it had been my dream to be a YouTuber and make videos since I was 16. I'm 25 now, so nine years ago, uh, almost 10 actually, um, I would watch loads and loads of videos and they brought me so much joy and made me so happy that I was like, you know what, I'd love to do this for other people, I want to bring other people joy and make them happy, because it really improved my life. Honestly, I didn't have the greatest time in high school and watching YouTube videos helped me through that. Uh, and when I started making videos, I realized that I actually really loved the editing process. I was like, you know what, I really enjoy editing videos. A lot of the videos, I enjoyed the editing more than the actual recording of the video itself. Not to say I didn't enjoy the recording, however, editing to me, it was so much more fun to see all these things and the ways I can transform the video and make it more entertaining to watch. Obviously in my videos I don't add a whole host of fancy edits because um, small channel, not really getting much from it other than satisfaction of making you guys happy and making fun videos to watch. Um, there is a lot more I can do in terms of video editing than what I put through in my videos because, you know, there's simple YouTube videos. They don't need to be edited um, to have all these sort of fantasy effects and transitions. That being said, I then decided to try and pursue a job uh, or career in video editing. So I did a course in video editing and I've been looking through this website called um, Upwork. It's sort of like a freelance website. And I've been looking through there for work for the past two months, applying to loads of jobs, and unfortunately, because I have no experience, at least I believe that's the main reason why, I have not actually been getting any callbacks. No one's wanted me to edit their videos, unfortunately. But again, when there's, say, 20 people applying to your job, you're not going to be choosing the guy who hasn't edited anything yet. So it's kind of hard to get started. I feel like once you've got started and you have some reviews, then it's easier for people to want to choose you. But until then, people are going to be choosing whoever has the best reviews. Um, because that's what they're going to want and I don't blame them for that. I do not fault them for that at all. So unfortunately like I've been hedging my bets on that because I know that I am good at editing videos and I was like you know what? I can make a career from this but unfortunately not. Um, uh, not yet anyway. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, part of me is very tempted to take the easy way out and end everything, you know, um, the, and the depressed part of me is like, hell yeah, I fucking do it, you know, life sucks, let's get out, um, but the logical part of me is like, 
no, I'm terrified of death, I don't want to do that, and, you know, I can't leave behind my gecko, Ori, I mean, look how adorable he is, put a picture next to me now, um, he's awesome, I don't want to leave him behind, and I have, like, two friends that would miss me as well, um, plus family, so, I can't do that, but who knows, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to get very dark there, okay, um, so, I had planned to make lots of more Terraria videos, uh, I wanted to amalgamate all the, the builds I've done into a single world and show you guys how you can uh, put them all together, add a whole bunch of decorations, make it really look like a Japanese town even, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't look like I might be going to get to do that because with my life falling apart I'm not going to have time to make YouTube videos. Not that I've been making many videos this year um, because of life. Um, I might make a Patreon. I don't know, uh, I have just over 250 subscribers, so it's not like uh, everyone's gonna, it's not like I'm a big YouTuber that's gonna make a lot of money off Patreon. However, if you would like to support me, if, if you, you know, can afford to uh, help me, then I would appreciate that, but if not, then keep your money, spend it on yourself, you know, um, gotta look out for number one. Um, but I will possibly make a Patreon if I do. Link will be in the description. Maybe I'll have a lovely fancy pop-up in front of me. Who knows? Um, so either way, yeah. Thank you very much for being on this journey with me. Uh, if any of you who are watching have been here since like the beginning with my first Minecraft videos where I had an awful mic, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and supporting me. And yeah, that's the short... How short are we? Seven minutes into the video. Not very short at all. Uh, that was the lengthy description of what's going on. Anyway, let's go to the build. Alright, so to start off with, let's have a look at what we're going to be using, the materials used in this build. So, it's Japanese, that means as always we're going to be going with Dynasty stuff. So we've got Dynasty Wood, Dynasty Bookcase, Large Candle, Normal Candle, Blue Dynasty Shingles, Large Dynasty Lantern, White Dynasty Wall, and then Wooden Fence, Wooden Beams, and Plain Wooden Doors, and then of course some Dynasty Wood Platforms, but there's only one bit that uses that. Okay, so you'll see that I've started off with a base here with a bookshelf in the middle. From this bookshelf, from that center piece there, you go up by 18, 1, 8, 18 blocks on each side, right? And then we begin with a wooden beam. So right next to this, we're going to put a wooden beam, just take up as high as you can. And then we want to have a space of 1, and then over there. So leave that space over there. And then from here, we're going to go up by another 2, so it's 3. And then just take this down all the way out until it is 1 in from that, okay? And then from there, we're gonna go by, we're gonna have three spaces of three. So, one, two, three, number four. And then we're gonna do it again. One, two, three, number four. One, two, three, number four. There you go, so those are our three spaces of three. Then we're gonna put a door down over there and another door over there. This one over here, we can take that out because instead of that, we're going to have a wooden beam going straight down like that. Then, on top over here, you take this out until it's on top of that. And then take it out all the way again until it goes one, two blocks over this over there. And then one, oops, two, three. Then you get wooden wall, fill this in with wooden wall, just that gap over there. And then where your door is, you have another line of wooden wall, oh, not over there, there you go, like that. So you want that to be in line with the door, and then you get your white dynasty wall, and then you use that to, oh, don't want that door open, go like that, all the way across there, and fill in this whole hallway, all the way up to here. Right, and you can see it's getting a bit dark now, so what do we do when it's dark? We put in a lantern, so in the center over there, we put down a dynasty lantern, and then a large dynasty candle goes up against that wall, like that, and now we've got some light. Then you get some wooden fences, and just go one, two, three, bam, wooden fences, lovely. And hanging from here, we'll put another dynasty candle, fantastic. Now, I'm going to go and do the exact same thing on the opposite side. And and now I'm going to go do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Also, another thing is you want to put another wooden beam down on that side over there. Just to line up with that. Very nice. Alright, now we've done our base floor. What we want to do next is get some dynasty platforms and just fill that in. 
as well as some white dynasty walls just to pull that in as well like that okay there you go right now from here put one block another one of this that's two three four so we've got four over there with one over there then we're going to go three starting there one two three and then do the same but starting on the end one two three and then we want five sets of two so one two three four five right and from here we're going to go up by two one two and then from here in the middle over there we go up by four one two three four and then go across like that and that's going to be your center over there you see that lines up and from here we just put another two right and then i'm going to do the same on the other side right there you go so now we have our lovely archway that is hopefully symmetrical it kind of looks like it's asymmetrical but i'm pretty sure that it isn't <laughs> but it, my eyes are tricking me it looks like it's asymmetrical i'm fairly certain it's not that anyways then you want to get another wooden beam and from this one over here we go in by one so that goes there all the way up to the top do the same on the other side as well and then you want to get your white dynasty walls and go like that so up to the same height as you and then three like that above you so it must just be a little bit above your character's head then you get wooden wall and just top it off like that so you get this shape over there where it's just above your head and that fills in all the way up here And then you get wooden beams from the middle, bring it all the way down to that point over there. And then you fill this in with more wooden walls. All right, then we get our dynasty lanterns again, and you want to put it just over there. So it pretty much touches your head. Look at that, it moves if you walk past, isn't that lovely? So again, over there, just touches your head, right? Then here, you can actually make this a room, right? So you want to get yourself Dynasty table and put it just offset over there so it lines up with the side of that. So you can have two tables just to make it symmetrical. And I also need some chairs. Let me quickly make some chairs. Alright, we've got four chairs. So we go one, two, and then do the same on the other side. One, two. Alright, there you go. So it might not look like much right now, but trust me, it's gonna look great. If you've seen the thumbnail, you already know how awesome it's going to look. Now, we're going to do, for me, what is always the trickiest part to do while I'm recording, which is the roof. Right, so we've got our blue dynasty shingles. We're going to go in line with this, take it all the way to the edge over there. Then we're going to go one, two over like that, and up like that. And then if you've watched my other videos, you know we're going to do hammer that, like that, so we get that lovely angled curved thingy, right? Then from here, we're going to go in like that all the way to the end. And then we're just going to have, sort of, see this little hook over here? We're going to have three of those, and then another beam. So, here's the second one, all the way to the end. And there's the third, all the way to the end. And then, this is the one where we will have a beam on top, right? So you get your dynasty wood, and you put it, just so it's in line with that, all the way to the side like that over there. You do want to, however not meet it up so you want to keep this over here because we're going to continue to have our dynasty shingles go like that over there so here we're going to do that all the way up just keep following the line all the way up like that and then you can do that on both sides Right, once you've done that, I don't want these little sparks here, so you actually want to hammer these until they're all smooth. Actually, this one you can leave flat like it's a normal one. Don't hammer this one, leave that one, but then do the same on the other side. Okay, there you go. So we've got a nice little smooth arch going over there. We want the smooth because this is actually going to be the inside of a room. Right, so get another dynasty wooden beam. And from here, you want to go in by two. So we have a gap of two, so we go up here. Buy enough to fit in a bookcase. So your bookcase you want to be right on the end over there. So it's on the one little bit of it's on the corner of the roof. Right? From there you can then get your dynasty wood. And ah, interesting, I can't place it on top of there. Oh well. There you go. From here, we want to take this all the way across until it meets up over there. 
and before I actually finish up inside, because again, now, as I mentioned earlier, this, this building is more aesthetic and less functional. So this is actually going to be sealed off. So what you want to do before you seal it off is get some wooden beams like that, take them up. And just to make that match up, we're going to put one th thing of a wooden wall over there, but then cut off the side like that. And like that way. so you can see the effect we've made with that wooden wall there even though the wooden beam can't go all the way down it does kind of look like it has gone down even though it hasn't it just sort of finishes off and makes it look nice right and then do that all the way across here and then you want to get another wooden beam on the side over there and then inside here we want to get another large dynasty candle put that over there and then get a wooden wall up like that and your dynasty would and take that up to cap it off and then take one block over like that and then another like that right you want this to go over by two right so it's hanging sort of like one over that one two over this one and over here we put a large dynasty lantern very nice we then take this all the way across like that line those up over there just like we did earlier on and fill this with wooden walls Actually, what I forgot to do is I need to take that down like that. There you go. You just want to have like a thin strip of white over there. And bam, like that. Now, I've done that on this side. Let me go do it on this side all nice and quick. All right, there you go. How is that looking? I think it's looking great so far. Hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Right, now we're going to be doing another arch like this on this level over here. Now this one's a little bit different. So, center one over here. You want to put one dynasty wooden block over there, right? Next to it, we're going to go up by two. And from here, we want six sets of two, including this one here. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six and then at the top one two three and then you can have your other six going down for there and then that's going to make a nice little arch over there in here before you close it off because this isn't going to have a wall and say it's going to have some beams and they're basically going to be skipping one block so one space is in between all of them like that there you go uh, by the way if you want to know how i got down there you can use a grapple to get yourself through there very nicely so we're going to go Go all the way down like that and again do our six sets of stairs oh delete that so we got one two three four five six and then bam like that very nice and then again get your wooden beams like that and i don't fill this in on my build i'll leave that area a bit blank but you're welcome to pull it in if you want to now we get our blue dynasty shingles once again and do another roof Pretty much standard, start at the bottom, go up by two like that, hammer it, hammer time. Right, go like that, and then again, just like over here, we're going to have one, two, three things that stick out, and then this goes on the fourth one over there. So, here's our first one. One, two, three, and then the fourth one is where we're going to have this sitting on all the way across like that right again i made an oopsie <laughs> that's we want this to go up again so like that all the way across actually we don't want to go that all the way across over here because from here we go up by two again like that so basically the same design as over there And for this one over here, instead of leaving it flat like that, we put one at the top like that, okay? And then we hammer them to make sure they're all nice and smooth. Actually, these ones we don't hammer. I'm just looking at my reference image now. We do not hammer these ones. We leave them nice and spiky so we can stab ourselves when we walk into them. <laughs> all right, so there you go. Now we've got that on each side. I think it's looking pretty good so far. It's just a bit annoying that this is dark. When I first built this, you didn't get shadows in builds like this so much. So it's a little bit annoying, but it's fine. We can deal with it. All right, from here... What you want to do is, again, get your dynasty wood 
And we're going to have another ceiling on top of this that's going to be one in from this block over here. And it's going to be basically just tall enough that you can stand underneath it. Well, it's going to be in line with this over here. So if you see that top one over there, oops, it's going to be in line like that. Okay, very nice. All right, there you go. So we've got our one space over there, then we have one over there, and then you get wooden fence. One, two, th oops, three. Ah, damn. There you go. So we've got three over there, and then you put down another piece of dynasty wood over there, and wooden beam, take that down over there. And over here, instead of a wooden beam, we put wooden fence like that. There you go, that looks nice. In fact, that's actually what I was supposed to do down there. So let's quickly fix that. These are supposed to be, now that I'm looking at it, wooden fences and not wooden beams. Can these overwrite? Okay, they do not overwrite. There you go, that's what that's supposed to look like. Lots of doors being opened. Okay, from here, what we want to do is get your white dynasty wall and just fill in this bottom layer over there. Oh, don't want to do that. Like that, just so that it fills in that little spot over there. And put another one over there, right? Just one on its own. And over here, we're going to get wooden walls. Wooden wall. All the way up to the top there, like that. And then dynasty wall. Want the wooden wall to take up that space over there next to the wooden beam and Darcy Wall just fills in the space over here. Just like that, right? And then inside here you get another Dynasty table, put it down over there and get one of these small Dynasty candles and put it over there. Now again, you could put in a chair over here and a door over here and it would function as a room and then you'd have that on both sides but I'm not going to do that just for the sake of aesthetics I like how this looks but keep in mind if you do want to make this a room this whole area would have to be filled in because you have to fill everything in you can't have any blanks and you need a door and a chair right from here we do the same thing we've done before with leaving the space of one so you get your dynasty wood and one over there one over there And go over by two again. Actually, we go one extra, so we go over by three, so that this can hang in the middle, and then there's still space over there like that. Very nice. So whilst that one hung on the edge one, this hangs one in. Right, take this all the way across until we get to here, and it goes all the way over the top. And I think that should be right. Right, and then we fill this in with wooden fences. I mean, uh, sorry, wooden walls. All the way over there and then you are going to want another dynasty wood over there there you go so throughout the build we have these gaps of three so as long as you remember that there's always three inside you're good all right let me do the same on this side We want that to be clean and straight. There you go, we've done another level. So if we go all the way down to the bottom, well not all the way down to the bottom, but there you go. You can see it's looking pretty damn good so far. I really like the look of this build. It's probably one of my favorites of all the Japanese styled buildings that I've done. Now we do a just a roof over here. There's no more rooms in, uh, on this level. So we're just gonna take this all the way across. And basically what we're gonna have is our normal little hooky over there. As these little sparks here, we're going to have four go up. So one, two, three. There'll be a fourth one. And then the fifth one is where that layer goes on top of. So we're going to go all the way across. So there's one, two, three, four. And then the fifth one is where we're going to have a line of dynasty wood on top. All right, so let me fill that in. Alright, there you go, that is looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Now, we're going to have one final little archway like that. Now this one, it's kind of difficult but to line it up, but as long as you line it up with that point over there, bam, keep that in line, 
that is your starting point. So from here, we're going to go in by three. So one, two, three, right? And then we're going to take it up by one. And then again, we're going to have our little stairs. This time we're going to have five sets of two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, right? Then from here, we're going to go up by four. Well, up by three, it's going to be four until. So one, two, three, four, like that. And then from the top, we're going to have one, two solid blocks like that. And then bring it down again. Sorry, three solid blocks like that. Okay, not four. And then we have our stairs going down again. And that's going to be three. Right, on the inside here, I shouldn't have sealed this in. <laughs> okay, on the inside here, we're going to have some more wooden beams, right? So, wooden beam all the way down. And again, we're skipping a thing, like that. And then, just for some light, so it's not too dark in here, we're going to have two beams over there. And then we're going to fill this in with wooden walls. Oops, we do not want anything like that. There you go, lovely. We're going to do that on both sides, we're going to fill it in. That. Now let's see if I can if I eyeball this correctly. Three, one, two, one, two. And lovely. There you go. Do not forget the beams. There you go. Uh, when I first built this, um, the reference image I'm using, I painted my beams white. But don't worry, I'll put an image up on the screen at the end of the video to show you what my first build of this looked like. From here, you're going to want to get your dynasty shingles again, and do just the normal one, and then one, two, like that. There you go. And then all the way in like that. This time we have four little sparks sticking out. So one, two, three, and four. Whoops. And then number five has the thing on top so there's number five which will have dynasty wood on top like that again we want to leave it out like that so we can do this right now from here we want to do a little sort of like pyramid style thing just like that and then this top one over here get your hammer and just hammer it once so it's a nice little peak and then this over here what you want to do is you want to get your fence but you want to put the fence not on top of it on the same line as it and look at this lovely little like look at that it looks like the roof has like some spikes on it. i love that i think it looks so cool there you go and believe it or not but we're done that is it that is the building and there you have it, that is my final gift to you guys, my final Japanese style building. This one is sort of like a, I don't know if you want to call it a mansion or maybe a hotel, because I mean it could be a hotel. You can turn each of these into rooms, so you can have one NPC in here, you can turn those into rooms. So technically this can house what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 even if you really want to put one up there, but I wouldn't do it over there just because it's difficult to get into. But you can put doors over there, doors over there, easy way in there. You could put eight NPCs in here in total. And honestly, I love the style of this building. Definitely one of my favorites. Before I go, I just want to, if you want to know what the point of these are, this is just so I didn't have slimes coming in and bothering me while I was building the whole time. So I can actually get rid of this now. Right, and there you have it. That's it. That is the build. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And for those of you who didn't watch that little... A clip in the beginning where I was talking about my videos. I just want to say this is going to be my last video for quite some time, possibly, depending on how things go. Thank you very much for supporting me, for watching my videos, liking and subscribing, and sharing the videos. It really means a lot to me. I hope you've enjoyed them, and you know what? Send me some screenshots. Like, let me know in the comments, did you build this? How did it turn out? Did you make any adjustments? What colors did you do it? Speaking of colors, bam, here on the screen right now, this is what it looked like the first time I made it. Uh, different colors because I had it in a snowy biome so I had it all white and blue and brown I thought it looked very nice so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and enjoy the rest of your year goodbye <laughs>